when you look at an image, say such as a leaf, do you see a leaf or a brush stroke? I find that when I look at images, if I can see them as brush strokes or see uh, portions of them especially as brush strokes, then I have a much better idea how to guide my hand uh, as to what to do. Now let me show you what I'm talking about. This takes a little bit pra of practice and it's a little bit of a Zen exercise. But if you practice this, I think you'll find it's going to feed you as a painter like nothing else could. So here we go. So f let's just focus on, I've got a group of, uh, a photo of a group of leaves here. Let's just focus on one of them. Now, when you're doing a practice exercise where your consideration is working with brush strokes, don't get concerned with shadows and lights and those kinds of things. Just focus on the brush stroke itself. Uh, and, and then you can add the shadows and lights in later. All right, so I'm going to just focus on this one leaf. And one reason is so that you can see it clearly. Uh, it's, it's light against dark, it makes it easier to, for you to see. And I'm just going to focus on that. Now, how would I focus on that as a brush stroke? Well, first of all, uh, in order to, to give it a, a presence, um, I'm just going to do a very loose placement of it, show it just a very loose sketch. So we say this leaf right here, and then I, I see now this is simply placing, right? It's simply placing, it's not defining leaf, uh, it's simply placing its edges. So um, something like that, and something like that, and something like that. And so, <laughs> some people would say that would be outlining the shape of the leaf, but I don't think of, of outlining at all. I just think of it finding a place, finding a place. And um, and, and and so uh, you might find the they might find the center uh, because when it's a leaf or a flower or something that's living, uh, growing, uh, the the movement of the brush stroke is going to move towards where that begins, where that shape begins. That's part of the key towards doing what I'm talking about. Now, um, that's all we need to do there. So, if you look at that shape right here, then switch your attention from what it is to what kind of brush stroke you would make. So if I switched my attention from not leaf, I'm not calling it leaf at all, but there's an image there made of brush strokes. What kind of brush stroke would it make? If that's what you go after, if that's your intention, you'll be surprised at how it comes together. Before you do that, you need to know what your brush will do. So it might not be a bad idea to, what, to uh, um, choose a brush and spend some time with it, finding out all the different things that it will do. Then that will help inform you as to what kind of brush truck you would see. So I'll just pull some color. I'm not trying to match any particular value or anything. I'll just pull some color. Um, into the brush here, and let's think brush stroke. Brush stroke. Now I'm seeing, I'm thinking flat brush because the edges are flat, or the, the um, edges of the shape or have, have more a pointed quality to them. And so I'm thinking the flat brush might be the brush stroke I'm seeing. So then I would place my brush. Say, oh, there's the image, and how would I place my brush to form that image? All right, so there's the edge of the image, and I might place my brush right there on the edge, just like that, and then I might pull it down towards towards the the uh, towards the vein there, and there is a brush stroke that is sort of defined that shape. Then I that so, some images you can form with one brush stroke. The larger images you'll need uh, more than one brush stroke. So you say. Same thing, how many brush strokes, or, or what brush strokes will define that image? What do I see as brush stroke in there? So I might see brush stroke here. Uh, as I'm coming, I might uh, throw my brush right here so that the corner of the brush catches the corner of that image and pull it back like that and like that and like that and then go towards, towards its, uh, its origin right there. I'll pick up some more paint. And uh, and then I see I see some little zigzags. All right, I'll take the edge of the brush, kind of zigzag the shape like that, then move it towards the origin like that. Pick up some more paint. 
pick up some more paint and I'll look at this shape. How do I place the brush to get that next little bit there and that next little edge and as I see it's pointed up like that. I might even be able to, to move it around like that. It's a, it's a wonderful little game you can play to, to look at images and imagine how would I move my brush over that image. Uh, just imagining how you move your brush over the image to make that shape will go a long, long way towards towards informing you as to how the brush can move. And you'll reach a point after a while where you don't even have to think about uh, which way the brush would move. Now let's see. Um, so you don't need any rules to follow. You don't need any pattern to follow. You don't need anybody to give you a prescription. You read it for yourself, knowing your brush, what it will do, and then looking at the image and seeing how would I use the brush to shape that image. Alright, so I'm seeing here, and I'll move that way like that, and I'm seeing here, and I'm seeing some little sharp edges there, so I'll just move along the edge, and I'll move it like that, and then I'll come around and move it like that, and each time I'm moving it, each time I'm moving it towards this uh, point of origin. You see, I'm not paying attention to uh, to values of whatever. I'm just I'm just looking at shape. And and so let's just do this kind of quickly here. Uh, now catching the brush on the uh, kept catching the tip of the brush on the edge of the image, and then how does it move? Catching the tip of the brush on the edge of the image, and how does it move? Tip of the brush on the edge of the image, and how does it move? Tip of the brush on the edge of the image, and how does it move? tip of the brush and so on. You see right here, right here is the very tip of the brush, very barely, barely touching, barely touching the surface and then moving that way. Here we get the tip of the brush touching the surface, but then moving with the corner of the brush to shape that little jut uh, that little zigzag there. Same thing here, shaping the little zigzag there. And now I do believe we have the shape of a maple leaf. Now, if you found this quick tip helpful, why not explore our full-length instructional videos? We have over a hundred full-length instructional videos at dynamize.com, uh, and we have them all either in download or DVD. So, give it a try. And there's your quick tip.